Do you want to learn how to make a computer quiz in Python? Well, stick around because I'll show you how in just nine minutes. Hey guys, so as you can see, I have opened a new file in idle and I suggest you guys to do the same. Please do follow along because this quiz is going to be super exciting to create. All right, so let's get started. Um, so first, you know, for our guests who are going to be playing this quiz, we probably want to give them like a welcome statement, right? So let's put in a print function here and I'm gonna write welcome to my computer quiz. And you guys can call this whatever quiz you would want as well. But um, next, we need to type in playing equals input. And it is going to ask, do you want to play? Okay, so do you want to play question mark? And then make sure to add a space. So let me, you know, say what, um, describe what I've written here. So basically, um, once the person opens this quiz, it is going to ask, welcome to my computer quiz. And it is also going to ask, do you want to play? So this is basically, um, the reason why I've given the space is so the player will have, you know, some space to write their answer. It won't be squished in right next to the question mark. Okay, so if we save this file, I'm going to go ahead, save it in my mini projects. So there we go, I've named this quiz game. And if we save it and run it, as you can see, it will come up with the two statements. So welcome to my computer quiz, do you want to play? And of course, um, if we type yes or no, it won't um, do anything because we haven't given any other code. So let's continue. So now we're gonna write in an if statement. So if playing is not equal to yes, and add a colon. So this is saying, um, this is just an if statement. So it's basically saying if the person who is playing says, is gives an answer to this question, like it, that is not equal to yes, then it is going to quit the game. So as you can see, I have written quit empty parentheses. All right. Next, we're going to add in another print statement continuing on in this quiz. So if the person says yes, right, it is going to move on to this line of code and it is going to give the statement, okay, let's play. So make sure to, I'm just going to add a little smiley face there and I'm going to close the quotation and the parentheses. Okay, so let's run this as well and see what we get. So do you want to play? Yes. And as you can see, it says, okay, let's play. Awesome job. Now, how about we start putting in our first question? So we need to do this. We're gonna create a variable. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it answer cause you know, it makes sense in this situation. Okay, so answer equals, and here we're gonna write in input parentheses. Um, our first question I'm just gonna put in is the coding language Python. Oops, let me spell that correctly. Named after a snake. Okay, and make sure to add a space after your question as well, so the um, player has some space to type in their answer. Okay, and you guys can put in any questions and answers you would want, or you can just follow along with me and copy the same ones I am doing, that's totally fine. So as you guys um, should know, the answer to this question is Python is not named after a snake, right? So we need to put in an if statement here and write in, if answer is equal to no, colon, we need to put print out the word correct. And um, 
we also so if the person thinks that you know the coding language python is named after a snake and they put yes then we now need to put in an else statement right so else and then print if they say it yes the word yes then it is going to print out incorrect let me add in punctuation and there we go you guys have put in coded your first answer here so let's save this and run it okay do you want to play yes and is the coding language python named after a snake so it is not and there we go it says correct awesome job everyone so i actually do have like a few more questions so i'm going to go ahead open that file that i've created and just copy and paste this into this copy and paste all right, so go ahead and um, pause this video here. You are, please feel free to, you know, copy these questions as well. And you can also create your own. So um, basically the first, or one of the questions here is what does CPU stand for? This is a acronym and it stands for, the answer is Central Processing Unit. The next one is what does GPU stand for? It stands for Graphics Processing Unit. And what does RAM stand for? It stands for Random Access Memory. So these are the other three questions I've put in, basically just like acronym questions. So how about we do this quiz? So do you want to play? Yes. Is the coding language Python named after a snake? No. What does CPU stand for? Central Processing Unit. Make sure to spell that correctly. What does GPU stand for? Um, it stands for Graphics Processing Unit. What does RAM stand for? Random Access Memory. And there we go. You've successfully answered all of your questions correctly. Okay, how about we add on um, to this quiz? So let's make the computer track our score while we are playing. That sounds fun, right? Okay, so after if you can see that we have this line right here saying, okay, let's play. Go ahead and click enter and right below that we're going to write in score equals zero right so of course before anyone has even answered the questions their score is zero and now uh, after all after this if statement you can see here after the print function click enter and we're going to write in score plus equals one so this is basically going to tell the computer to add one to whatever their score is. And just copy that um, snippet right there. And we're going to paste that after each of those print functions here. And there we go. Now, so once we have done that, we need at the end, we are going to write in a print function here. And it is basically going to be a statement telling the player their score. So you got, and then space, and add in an addition symbol there, str score. Another addition symbol, and questions correct. We're gonna continue that sentence there. Questions correct and end close those parentheses. Awesome. So let's run this and see what we get. All right. Do you want to play? Yes. Um, is it named after a snake? Yes. Let's just answer. So as you can see, it says incorrect. What does CPU stand for? Central processing unit. Oops. Let me spell that correctly. Processing unit. What does GPU stand for? GPU, I don't know. <laughs> what does RAM stand for? Random Access Memory. Okay, so as you can see, it has um, printed out. You got two questions correct. Pretty cool. Now, how about instead of, you know, just um, the computer telling us, you know, the number of questions you got correct, let's make the computer tell us the percentage, right, we got. so. We're going to add in another print function. Again, how about I just copy this? It's going to be more efficient. So copy, 
paste and we're gonna leave this the same you got str score but for the computer to give us the percentage we need the computer to divide our score by four right so put in score slash four and then we need to the computer would have to multiply that number by 100 and we're going to delete questions correct and instead of all that we just need to put in a percent symbol and then our period so we can also you know put in a score divided by four in parentheses just so the computer does this part first but even if we didn't do that you can see that it would still give us the correct um output we're looking for so save this run it yes i'm just gonna go ahead and put in random answers here so cpu um, ram just put in ram so as you can see it says you got one question correct so i got a 25 percent so this was super fun i hope you guys enjoyed it as well if we did Go ahead and smash that um, thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe. Keep an eye out on um, my channel on Envy Station because I will be posting more, you know, mini project videos that we can do together. But that's all for today, guys. Keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe.